Welcome to the Weekly Wrap. In a concerning development, the Labor government has introduced a new bill on discrimination cases that could threaten religious freedoms by shifting the financial burden entirely onto the respondent of a claim. We know that Christians, including ACL's former managing director, Lyle Shelton, often get targeted under discrimination laws. This new law may pressure anyone accused into accepting guilt to avoid overwhelming costs. This is bad news for our nation. This comes amid a series of attempts to restrict religious freedom, from the ALRC recommending the removal of rights for Christian schools to hire staff according to their ethos, to conversion therapy laws which remove the rights of anyone to question gender transition, and not to mention the anti-democratic misinformation and disinformation bill. For the sake of maintaining our ability to speak truth in public, we must resist these moves. And now to Victoria. Despite recent reports of a decline in referrals to gender clinics, the Labor government has recently increased funding for GP training in gender transitioning. This contrasts with moves in other countries such as the UK, Denmark and Finland to ban harmful gender affirmative treatments for minors. Regardless, the Victoria Labor government persists. How many young lives will suffer irreversible damage as a result? We urge the Victorian government to back an inquiry, amending laws for GPs to offer care without ideological pressure, ensuring optimal health care. At ACL, we will continue to advocate on your behalf to ensure our freedoms and those vulnerable in our nation are protected. Stay informed, follow us on social media and subscribe on YouTube. God bless you.